If there are blockages in the arteries of the heart, we need to restore the blood supply to the affected part of the heart. So the one option is angioplasty. The other option is bypass surgery. A patient presenting with a heart attack, he is subjected to the primary angioplasty. But if at that time multiple blockages are noted, then the cardiologist has to decide whether this patient will do long run with multiple stents or bypass surgery would be a better choice for him in the long run. Another subset of patients are the ones who come in the stable condition with no past history of heart attack. They come with the history of chest pain and their evaluation with the form of echo stress test followed by angiography, it reveals that the patient has got multiple blockages in multiple vessels. So when there are blockages in more than two arteries, bypass surgery has shown very good results. Also in patients who have diabetes or who have low pumping power of the heart or what we call as a low ejection fraction have shown superior results with bypass surgery. comorbidity of the patient. Comorbidity is in the form of associated diabetes, hypertension, kidney disease, the lung condition, whether the patient has compromised lung condition and also the patient's LV function is considered and last but not the least most important is the patient's financial situation and also his understanding capacity about the longevity of the procedure. These are all the points which we consider before making a decision about multi-stenting versus bypass surgery.